Housekeeping? Let's housekeep the house. Ooh, bad. Don't like that. I Carry on. got my word <laughs> song. Let's try that again. Nope, that's staying in. Uh, housekeeping. <laughs> let's, let's housekeep the house. I, I don't know what I was even trying to say. I, I honestly don't know either. It was a thing of beauty. It's because I stole it. Usually you say housekeeping, but that's I stole true. it from you. It threw you. Amanda tweeted us. She said, so, I'm that monster, in quotes, who alphabetizes numbers under the letters they begin with. It's just wrong, Amanda. I honestly don't understand how you can do it. I messaged her saying I don't know how you live with yourself. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not going to go that far. Uh, she, she replied saying quite easily, and then a gif from Parks and Rec of um, <laughs> Nick Offerman's character saying, I regret nothing, the end. <laughs> It's just, it's just not how alphabet. That's not how alphabetical order works. If if it is spelled out, then I will accept it. Yeah. If it's like, yeah, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Yeah. That's an O. That yeah, goes yeah. in the O's. Yeah. 100%. If it's one, the number one flew over the cuckoo's nest. That goes at the start because it's the number one. Yeah. Exactly. That's how. That's how computers sort alphabetically. I love computers. That's how I sort alphabetically. <laughs> and I'm the robot here. <laughs> Liam, Liam, Liam has to translate it all into binary and then sort them. Yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, she said uh, that she's listened through the whole episode, but it took her a while because it was hard to hear about the stuffing crossed. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is we one did of those warn. I'm glad you read it, so I never have to. Yeah, I did. I think we did say in the episode we didn't think Amanda would want to listen to it, but she did. Yeah. Good on you, Amanda. It is a a pretty brutal comic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Have you read any more of it? Because I know we both were going uh, to. Not I yet. haven't had time. I'm going so. to. Yeah. Yeah. Have you done anything else like housekeeping from previous? No, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Um, Amanda said, "Ellie, The Godfather is long, but it doesn't feel like it when you watch it. I watched it last night because it's all about family, and it was Thanksgiving here. Fair. The time breezed by. I was meant to be taking notes, but was so engrossed I kept having to rewind because I'd forgotten to write." If we're talking about the Godfather one, I have seen the God. I have seen the Godfather, yeah. and I can completely disagree with you because my my then girlfriend at the time made me watch it. Yeah, we got halfway through the film, and there is a, a scene where something happens that feels like the film is ending, and I went, "Oh, is that the end?" And she went, "No, no, 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 that's about halfway through." And I went, "Oh, for fuck's sake!" <laughs> Honestly, that's the worst experience I've ever had in a film. Is that moment of I was like oh I didn't really enjoy the film but it was fine it's finished now and then being told no 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 you've only made it to the halfway mark yeah. honestly that film is very long the thing is I, I've I've watched The Godfather twice now I believe and both times I've been like I get it I get why I, I like from a, a cinematic and the way it's put together and everything I get it I just don't really enjoy it no it's not my kind of film I think we've spoken about this before where that kind of like Mafia film that yeah. just it doesn't appeal to me. It's, I like I like aliens and guys. shit. We know this fantasy yeah. and aliens. Yeah, fantasy and aliens. Yeah. I'm sorted. Cowboys vs. Aliens, one of the best films ever made. Well, Amanda also said also Wikipedia does not do justice to The Godfather. Love you, Ellie. Love you too, Amanda. But Amanda's also very well. Yeah, you are wrong. It's a very long film. <laughs> uh, Jason tweeted us. Now this this is a fun question. So okay. Um, I, I sent a tweet out saying, oh, we need feedback for our anniversary episode. Listen to the first episode, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Jason said, I'll check it out on my way to work tomorrow. We never heard back. Uh, just saying. Don't call, stop calling people out. But, no, I, I, you know, I did say he's given us a good questionnaire. So, yeah, I take with one hand and I give with the other. Yeah, okay. He said, um, but I would like to know what your favourite episode of Nerd on Nerd is. Mine is episode 52, Introducing Ellie. Amazingly informative, intelligent, and beautifully crafted episode. Which, to me, is such a hilarious review of our show. And just the fact that there's even a remote part of Jason that thought, we craft these. They're not just happy uh, accidents. When we get a website, I'm going to put no, a, a, a like title photo of Nerd or Nerd, and we're just going to have those quotes, <laughs> yeah, out of context next to it. So I I responded saying saying my favourite episode, not like this one, which is going to be one of the ones you edited. <laughs> no, I said that's a great question. We'll be sure to discuss this on the show. Uh, I said I think introducing Ellie will be hard to top. I said just kidding. It's not even about Liam. And Jason responded, 
precisely with a gif of a little girl in a toy car who seems to be doing like a a handbrake turn and yep. giving like the middle fingers. <laughs> or, oh no, or, like or, or, or no, the, the rock, the rock symbol. Yeah. the hand. Rock this symbol. is like Liam's nightmare. Someone enjoying an episode that isn't Liam centric. Ridiculous. But yeah, so I thought that would be a fun question for us to discuss what our favourite episodes of Nerd on Nerd are. I mean, that one's probably my favourite. Yeah? For obvious reasons. Um, for me, it's any time we've had guests on. Oh, Liam's playing that card again. Classic. <laughs> no, tricked yeah. me into going first. Tricked me into going first. Then he slots in a little, get the listeners back on side. Yeah. Liam loves the guests. Yeah, uh, the, the episode we had Jason on, fantastic. <laughs> oh, you're just such a dick. <laughs> no, j- you're genuinely... so stop trying to bum lick Jason. <laughs> no, um, no. For for me, it is most of the time. It's when we have guests on, just because. Yeah, the guest episodes are very fun. Yeah, I I really enjoy that extra dynamic that it adds to the show. Yeah. Like, I've really enjoyed the times we've had Amanda on, uh, Jason, yep. obviously, the Zack Attack guys, it was great. Even, like, before we were having, like, podcasty friends on, and we were just having our friends, like, the episodes with Kat, Dan, uh, Mark. Mark, Sam. Yep. That was all good stuff. I think that's all of our guests that I've listed now. I think it might be. So, uh, yeah, th- those were, yeah. Were, were my favourite, but <sighs> there have been other good episodes. Go on. Uh, I, my one of my favourites is uh, any episode where the listeners learn an upsetting thing about Liam. Like, and, and to be fair, sometimes I learn something I didn't know. Like the fact that Liam doesn't dry himself by himself; he has to get his girlfriend to help him. Yeah. Uh, Liam not being able to wipe properly was a good one. That came up uh, in one of our guest episodes. That came up in the Liam is a three star friend episode with Mark Dawes because I, we were asking Mark what his thoughts were on all that. Poor Mark. Poor Mark. Um, one of my absolute favourites is uh, the, I don't know how you say this properly, the uh, Huma Huma Numakuna Kuapua. Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apua. There we go. That episode I think is great. And also, um, I, I've, I'm currently editing this episode for, for YouTube and it's the Never Gonna Be Nerdier Than This with Joe and Joey where it's just me, Joe and Joey just gushing about Zac Efron and you're just there, like, so confused by the whole situation. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I... I, mm, I think we've, To we've, be fair, there's there's honestly not many Nerd on Nerd episodes that I don't like. There have, there have been a couple. Go on, what were like, they? I'm, th- I'm talking specifically, like... I don't know, I've come out of episodes where, at the end, we have both been like, I don't think that was our best episode. Like, I don't know, it hasn't... It didn't flow as well. Yeah. Like, there was definitely a period of time where we didn't lose it, but we were like... There were episodes where we were like, oh, I, I, I did, don't think that went amazingly. Yeah. Like the uh, last anniversary special. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. Whereas, you know... and But, but like, it's hard to pick because I just enjoy doing Nerd on Nerd. Exactly. Like, I, think this is a, I think this is a fun show to do with you. Yeah, likewise. We're getting soppy for the anniversary episode, guys. I don't like it. Um, but no, I, I, I thank you, Jason, for that question, even though you yeah, were mean question. to me. I, I think, thank you for being mean to Liam. I think he most of our listeners would agree that the introducing Ellie is probably... I don't want to say like one of our better episodes. I don't think I don't think it's a case of it being a better episode. I think it's probably just a... I don't want to blow my own trumpet and be like, Meh, I did it so well. But I think it was good in terms of... I don't know. I think it could have gone wrong in so many ways, and I think both of us did a good job of not letting it go wrong. Yeah. 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 So I don't. I don't know if it's a case of it being like a better episode in in the sense of oh, it's just a, a great episode. I think it's just I don't know. Like Jason said, it's informative. I think we did a fairly good job of you asking stuff. Yeah. Me answering stuff and just yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It wasn't about me. I don't care. Um, <laughs> Sam tweeted us saying. Uh, when are you going to watch The Godfather? I believe Never. I asked after the first episode. Three years I've been waiting. Uh, technically, Sam asked for Godfather 2. So that is true. He can shut the fuck up. That is true. Uh, I did respond saying, I'm keen to do it. Unfortunately, Ellie is not. Such bullshit. Um, so my suggestion to Sam, which I never got a response to, so the ball is in his court as far as I'm concerned, was if he is to return as a guest 
and choose the Godfather as his culture swap. I we don't have to do it. Yeah, I don't think you really have a, a choice. No, I wouldn't. But he didn't respond to that, so I'm guessing he's not keen to return as a guest. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there we go. Um, and that's everything for housekeeping. Wait.